Rumi and Moku. One day, Moku the monkey got an apple. He started to eat it. He bit the apple and began to chew it. Just then, he saw a deer lying on the meadow, imitating him by chewing. Hey, naughty little deer, you are not eating anything. Then why are you chewing? Stop mocking at me, please, said the monkey. The deer stared at him as if she didn't know anything. Moku continued to eat his apple. Soon, a giraffe came there chewing something. Hey, naughty giraffe, you are not eating anything. Then why are you chewing? Stop mocking at me, please, said Moku. The giraffe stared at him as if he didn't know anything. Moku continued eating the apple. Then along came Rumi, the cow, chewing something. Hey, naughty, crazy cow, you are not eating anything. Then why are you chewing? Stop mocking at me, please, said Moku. This time he was very sad that everybody was making fun of him by imitating him. When Moku was about to cry, Rumi asked, My dear Moku, why are you so sad? Moku broke into tears and said, Each and every one whom I met was making fun of me by imitating me. What did I do to them? Oh, Moku, I am sorry. I didn't mean it. Who else have mocked you? Asked Rumi. The deer, the giraffe, and now you, wept Moku. Rumi got up with a smile. Moku, I am sorry. Actually, all those you saw were not mocking you, said Rumi. But they were not eating anything. They were pretending to be chewing to make fun of me, said Moku. Dear Moku, Rumi said, Do you know that all the friends you saw belong to the same group? I too belong to that group of animals. We all have a special ability to bring up eaten food and chew it again to digest it. Rumi continued to explain. We have a special part in our stomach called rumen. We store food there in bulk by swallowing it when we get them. Then, when we feel hungry, we take the food out and chew it again to eat it. This is what you saw with the deer, giraffe and myself. We are ruminants. Moku now understood that he had made a mistake. Oh, that was great. I thoroughly misunderstood you. I'm sorry, said Moku as he went away happily.